Hi, this is part two to my disaster from part one. This is the continuation. This is where we left off. Thank you so much for your patience, but I also wanted you guys to see that things don't always turn out the way we think they do. And I like when we as YouTubers also post our mess ups or show videos where we do mess up because nothing turns out perfectly all of the time and what you envision in your mind doesn't always translate on paper and that's exactly what happened to me it just was a flop but it's okay because all things can be fixed or salvageable or whatever it may be we can redo it but don't give up that's the whole idea Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience and I hope you make it through to this video. I'm going to speed it up super fast and hopefully you can catch it and I'll slow some parts down so that you can actually see the final result. Thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal and mess up, you can too. Take care. What I've decided to do was flip through and go to the next monthly section in this planner and I just kind of put tape over this page and just buried it basically so I'm starting a new July page I have to get rid of that center introduction page so I'm going to tape that down as you can see and now I'm going to start fresh and new and take my time well sort of take my time and this time I decided to use my acrylic markers and write in the days of the month and then I'm going to add my stickers and again it turns out a lot better than the initial page that I did in part one. I love love doing YouTube videos it's the editing especially when something like this happens because it took over an hour for me to fix my mistake and then to try to edit and take out as much as I can so that you guys don't see everything I don't like having long videos up on YouTube so I try to spice it and just get the right amount with the right amount of speed so this just took several days and that's why I am late and it's just it was just a lot of footage I had to cut out I don't have much filled out because the month just started so I have to fill in the dates as I go along. I already put my numbers down ahead of time because that just took a little time to just glue two weeks of numbers down. So now I'm just doing my weekly, my two weeks of July in the weekly section of this Creative Faith and Company Planner which I love so much because it's just more kind of hands on and it seems like it's personally hand drawn but I didn't have to do it so I like that idea as well. So on the left I put down some goals and some things that I need to do and then on the right side I put my stickers and dates and different events or not events but appointments that I may have or calls that I may need to make and whatever doesn't need to get filled I just fill it in with a, with a sticker. Okay guys, now you see I am done. I am so grateful that's week two, that's week 
one the monthly is done all over again and I am so grateful <laughs> that this tragedy has ended I like the way everything turned out and I feel much better about this so I hope you guys do too and I hope you were inspired by this video thank you for watching and let's set up this notebook so we can get out of here <laughs> take care bye I don't know if you guys plan for the month or use planners and things like that, but it's kind of rough setting it up. I like it once it's done, but the process you have to do quite a bit if you just, you know, want your planners to look pretty and things like that. So right now I'm setting up my Fruit of the Spirit. This is from Beautiful Good News. If you look down in the description box below, check out my code for Beautiful Good News uh, at the Etsy shop. Use code SHERRY20. Hunt and Seek Creative, I use some stickers from her, those girls. If you go to her shop and you use code SHERRY25, you'll get 25% off of two or more kits that you buy. You have to buy two in order to get 25% off, which is still a great deal. But all of my codes are listed in the description box below. Please make good use of them. I don't make any money off of them. I use the same codes that you guys use, and it's just a blessing that these women give these codes to me to give to you. I say that all the time because I want you to know that I promote people because I love their shops. That's why I use it. Some of them give me codes, some don't. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to use the stickers that I love. I'm going to use the shops that I love and I use them frequently. And I like to share them with you if I get a code for them. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a great week and stay safe. Take care. Again.